大家好 ，Hello everyone. My name is Wei Wei, and welcome to my channel. We all know practice makes perfect, and there's nothing better than chatting with native speakers in order to improve your proficiency in the language. Plus, it's always good to make a new friend. So today we are learning how to start a conversation with complete strangers in Mandarin Chinese. Let's dive in. Let's say you're sitting at a cafe and you spot a friendly-looking person who might speak Mandarin. The first step would be to verify that they actually do. So you can say something like, 打扰一下，你会说中文吗？打扰一下，你会说中文吗？打扰一下 means excuse me. 打扰 means to interrupt, to disrupt. 打扰一下 means once. So you are literally saying interrupt once, but it's a phrase that you can use to mean excuse me. 打扰一下，你会，你 means you， 会 means to be capable of, to be able to, and you can also use 会 as a future marker. Here it means be able to. 你会 means you are able to, you are capable of. 说中文。说 means to speak. 说中文 means the Chinese language. 中文中 stands for 中国中国 literally means the Middle Kingdom. That means China. And 文 means text or language. There's another way to say Chinese language. 汉语汉语 Because the majority of the Chinese population is from the Han ethnicity, so we also call it Han yu yu. Yu also means language. So, 说中文 is the same thing as 说汉语 How would you say to speak English? 说英文英文 is the English language, or 英语 And then we have a ma at the end. So ma is the yes or no question marker. If you are not familiar with it yet, so in Mandarin Chinese, to form a yes or no question, you can just make a statement and then put a ma at the end. So in this case, the statement is 你会说中文 You are capable of speaking Chinese. And then by putting a ma at the end, we turn it into Can you speak Chinese? 你会说中文吗 Okay, so let's say the whole thing together. 打扰一下，你会说中文吗 ？And hopefully, the person that you speak to will happily say 会 and then you guys can continue your conversation. If you already know the person speaks Chinese because either you see them reading a book in Chinese or you hear them talk on the phone in Chinese, then you could say something like, 请问这里有人坐吗？请问。这里有人坐吗？请问 means may I ask. 请 by itself means please. 问 means ask. So 请问 literally means please ask. But we often use 请问 to politely start a question. May I ask? If you're interested in learning more courtesy words, you can check out my video here. 这里 means here. 这里，这里 is the same thing as 这儿。这儿 technically has two characters, 这 and 这儿 they merge together into 这儿。So 这儿 is very common in northern China, in places like Beijing, whereas 这里 is common elsewhere. And to say there, it's 那里 or 那儿。Not to be confused with na r, so they're very very similar both in pronunciation and in the characters. Na r is third tone na a, and that means where. Na r is fourth tone na is fourth tone, and that means there. 有人 means there is somebody. 有人有 by itself means to have. For example, 我有苹果 I have apples. 苹果 means apples. But if there isn't a subject before 有 
then 有 something could mean there is, there are, there was, there were. So here 有人 means there is someone or there are people. The opposite of 有 is 没有 or you can shorten it to just 没 to not have or there isn't, there aren't, there wasn't. If you wanted to say there isn't anyone, 没有人 or just 没人 And then "ren" means person. "Zuo" means to sit. "Zuo." And then "ma." We've seen "ma" in the previous slide. "Ma" is a yes or no question word. So the whole thing goes. 请问这里有人坐吗 Literally, may I ask? Here is there somebody sitting? 请问这里有人坐吗 Hopefully, the person will happily say, "没有人 nobody. There's nobody sitting here." Another way to ask if you can sit next to somebody is just simply asking, "May I sit here?" 我可不可以坐这儿？我可不可以坐这儿？我 means I or me. Here it means I. 可不可以？可不可以 means may or may not. 可以 means may or to have the permission to do something. 不可以 is the negation of 可以 and means may not. The complete version for this phrase is 可以不可以 but we often shorten the first one into just the beginning character 可不可以 and that's actually another way of forming a yes or no question. You can just say the verb and then negate the verb, and in this case, 可不可以 may or may not. 坐这儿 So we know 坐 means to sit. 这儿 is the same thing as 这里 to sit here. So 我可不可以坐这儿 I may or may not sit here. It means may I sit here. How would you say this question in another way instead of using 可不可以 So you could also put a ma at the end. 我可以坐这儿吗 So that would mean the exact same thing. 我可以坐这儿吗我可不可以坐这儿 And hopefully, the answer to this question is an enthusiastic 可以 Yes, you may. Another way to start a conversation is to ask to borrow something. 你能借我一支笔吗？你能借我一支笔吗？你能 means you can. So 能 is very similar in meaning to 会 to be able to and 可以 may or can. And we'll go over in a later slide how these three words are different. 借我 means to lend me. 借我借 means to lend or to borrow. And we'll see in a second how you can differentiate if it's used to mean to lend or to borrow. 一支笔 means a pen. 一支笔 So a lot of you guys might already know this. In Chinese, we have measure words for nouns, and here the measure word for pen is 支 The word for pen or writing utensil is 笔 So you would put a number and then the measure word and then 笔一支笔 How would you say three pens? 三支笔 And then 吗 for yes or no. So the whole thing is 你能借我一支笔吗 What's another way of asking the same question instead of using ma at the end? And the alternative is to say the verb twice, and the second time you are negating the verb. But here we actually have two verbs. We have 能 can or 借 to lend or to borrow. Which one do we change? We actually change 能 because that's the main verb. So 你能不能借我一支笔 Let's go over how 借 works. So if 借 is followed directly by a thing, that means to borrow something. So for example, 借笔 it means to borrow a pen. 借一支笔
If there is a person after 借 that means to lend that person something, which is the case here. 借我一支笔 You could also put a 给 right after 借借给 somebody something. We have an example here. 他借给我他的车了 He lent me his car. 借给我 to lend me 他的车车 means car. Another way of saying this is to drop the 给他借我他的车了 And you could also put 给 person at the end after something. 借 something 给 person. For example, 他没有借钱给他 She didn't lend him the money. 借钱钱 means money. 给他 to him. 没有 is how you would negate something that happened in the past. You could also say 他。没有借给他钱 by putting 给他 before 钱 or you can drop the 给他没有借他钱 So basically, if 借 is followed only by a noun and there's no person anywhere near it, then 借 means to borrow. But if there is a person either right after 借 or after 借给 Or after the noun, then it means to lend. Hopefully, that's clear. How would you say, "Lend me your computer"? 借我你的电脑。你的电脑 your computer. 电脑 means computer. Or you could say, 借给我你的电脑 Or 借你的电脑给我 How would you say to borrow a computer? It's just simply 借电脑 Another way to start a conversation is to ask if the person comes to a place often. 你常常来这里吗？你常常来这里吗 ？So 你 means you. 常常 means often. 常常 You could also say 经常经常 also means often. And some other frequency words, 有时候 means sometimes. 有时候 or 很少 means rarely. 很少 could also mean very few, very little in quantity. 很少来这里。来这里 means to come here, so 来 means to come. The opposite of 来 is 去去 means to go somewhere. So in order to say to go there, 去那里 or you can say 去哪儿 So 来这里 you could also say 来这儿吗 Again for yes or no question. So the whole thing is 你常常来这里吗 Literally, you often come here. Yes or no? So in English, you could put the frequency word at the very end. Do you come here often? But in Chinese, we put it before the verb. So 常常 has to go before 来 In order to answer this question, you you could say the frequency and the verb together. 常常来 or 不常常来 or you could give a different frequency. 有时候有时候来 or 很少来 You could also start a conversation by asking the person what they're drinking. 你在喝什么你在喝什么 So 你 again means you. 在 could mean at. We often see it before a place. For example, 在家 at home. But here it's a progressive aspect marker, which I'll explain in a minute what that means. 喝 means to drink. 喝 and to say to eat is 吃吃什么 means what 什么 So the whole thing is 你在喝什么 So the way 在 works here is you put a verb after and it means be verbing. 
it indicates the continuous aspect of the verb. For example, 我在喝茶 I am drinking tea. 喝茶 means to drink tea, and it doesn't have to be in the present tense either. For example, 我早上九点在吃早饭早上九点 means nine o'clock in the morning. 吃早饭 means to eat breakfast. And that was in the past. So, 在吃早饭 means was eating breakfast. So, 在 plus verb means the verb is happening or was happening. 你在喝什么 What are you drinking? How would you say What are you eating? 你在吃什么Hopefully, the person you're talking to will happily tell you what they're eating or drinking. If the person is reading a book, you can ask them, 这本书有意思吗？这本书有意思吗？这本书 means this book. So this 这 is the same 这 as in 这里 or 这儿 which means here. But 这 by itself could also mean this. 本 is a measure word for books. 书 means book, so 这本书 this book, 有意思有意思 means interesting. 有 means to have. 意思 could mean both meaning or interest. So if something has interest, then it's interesting. 有意思 The opposite of 有意思 is 没有意思 or just 没意思 because 没有 means to not have, so not interesting. And then we have a ma for yes or no. So 这本书有意思吗 Is this book interesting? Instead of using a ma at the end, you could also do the verb plus verb negation by saying 这本书有没有意思 So you are using the verb 有 and then you negate it. 有没有 And then you don't need a ma at the end. 这本书有意思吗 And 这本书有没有意思 So hopefully the person will happily tell you about their book. You could also just ask them directly if they are willing to help you practice Chinese. 你能不能帮我练习中文？你能不能帮我练习中文？ So, 你 for you, 能不能 means can or cannot. 帮我 to help me. 帮 means to help. So, 帮 somebody means to help that person. How would you say help a friend? 帮朋友朋友 means friend. 练习中文 means to practice Chinese. 练习 means to practice. You could also shorten it to just 练 so 练中文练习中文 are the same thing. How would you say practice speaking Chinese? So the word for to speak is 说 so it would be 练习说中文 or 练说中文 and instead of 中文 you could also say 汉语 so it would be. 练习汉语 So the whole thing is, 你能不能帮我练习中文 So what's another way of phrasing this question? So instead of 能不能 you could just say 能 once and put a ma at the end. 你能帮我练习中文吗 And now we're gonna go over the difference between 可以会 and 能 so 可以 means may or to have the permission to do something. For example, may I sit here? 我可不可以坐这儿 You are asking for the permission to sit here. 会 means able to, and it's usually used for a skill that you've acquired through learning and training. For example, 会说中文 Be able to speak Chinese because you have to learn Chinese. 能 could mean both. It could mean to have the permission to do something, may do something, 
or to have the ability to do something. You can also use 能 to mean it's possible to do something. For example, 明天我能去你家 Tomorrow, it's possible for me to go to your house. 明天 is tomorrow. 去你家 to go to your house. So hopefully, this helps you differentiate these three very similar words. So the answer to this question is hopefully an enthusiastic 能 or 当然能当然 means of course, of course I can help you. Once you're nearing the end of your conversation, you might want to ask for the other person's number so you can keep in touch and maybe keep practicing in the future. 可不可以留个电话号码？可不可以留个电话号码 ？Again, 可不可以 means may or may not. 留 means to leave or to keep or to stay. Here it means to leave. 个 is the most common measure word in Chinese, and here it's used for phone number, which is 电话号码。电话号码，电话 means phone, literally means electric speech. 号码 means number, and it's specifically for a sequence of digits. So 电话号码 is phone number. So the whole thing is, 可不可以留个电话号码 Notice how we've omitted the subject 你 The complete way should be 你 Can you leave a phone number? But "ni" is implied, and also instead of saying "can you leave," you could say "can you leave a phone number?" Or "can you leave a phone number?" In this sentence, instead of saying "can you," we could also use "can." So you could say "can you leave a phone number?" Or But we cannot use "hui" because you're not questioning their ability to leave their phone number. You're questioning the possibility or their willingness. So hopefully you have your numbers down in Chinese. To review numbers, check out my video. So I hope you found this lesson helpful and you will go out there and make a new friend. 谢谢你 Thank you so much for watching. 再见 I'll see you in the next video.